In a previous lesson, we used the fetch hook to fetch our list of planets on the index page. Wouldn't it be nice to also have that list of planets on each planet page so we don't have to click back to the home page to change planets? Instead of duplicating our code, we can create a component instead. The fetch hook can be used in components, whereas async data can only be used on page components. Let's create a new component called planets list inside our components directory. In our template tag, we need to add a div and then paste in our code from our index page. We can remove the link to the non-existent Nux planet. Now we need to cut our script tag from our index page and paste that into our component. By adding the fetch call direct to our component, we don't have to add any props. We can now use our component direct in our index page. And let's add it to our slug page too. Let's check it out in the browser. And as you can see, our component has been added. We can check this out in the view dev tools and we can see our list of planets is now coming from our component. But hang on a second. We didn't import the component. How is it even working? With Nuxt, we don't have to import components once components is set to true in our Nuxt config. If we set this to false, we will have no component. Then in order to see our component, we would have to import it and add our component to the component object. That's a lot of extra work, especially when adding lots of components. So let's remove it and set our components back to true. By setting it to true, Nuxt parses our template and automatically includes the components for us. As Nuxt uses Webpack for automatic code splitting, the bundle will only contain the components that are used on that page. If you use a component on more than two pages, Nuxt will automatically create a shared chunk for them. Very cool. But what if we wanted to lazy load our component? Lazy loading will highly improve your performance, especially for those components that are below the fold or only available when clicked. If we are not using any import statement, then how can we add a dynamic import? Actually, we can lazy load our auto-imported components by simply prefixing the component with the word lazy. Let's see how it works. On our homepage, let's add a button that when clicked will set show to true. We don't want the list to show unless the user clicks the button. We then need a method that changes our data property of true to be false. Now we can add a vIv equals show to our lazy planets list component and it will only show if we click our button. Let's test it out. As you can see, we have no list of planets. Let's open our network tab and we should see in here our planets.js only when we click the button. And there you see it. This means our planets component is lazy loaded, only loaded when and if it is needed. So as you can see, with auto imported components, we don't need to write any kind of dynamic import statements. You just need to prefix your component with the word lazy. Very cool.